Hello, today I'm going to be talking about a list of offline marketing activities that can help you with your affiliate marketing business to make more money. Now, before I get going, uh, you'll notice there's a link in the description called trustthelink.com. And if you click on it, uh, you will discover what I truly feel is the number one tip to making money online with affiliate marketing. Now, like you, I like to try to have an open mind and think outside the box. I think that's very healthy for people to do. I'm a big fan of a book called Blue Ocean Strategy. Have you ever heard of it? Basically, Blue Ocean Strategy is when there's not a lot of competition. Red Ocean is when there's a lot of competition. So that's what I try to do. Now, affiliate marketing, you probably already know this, but basically you post a link and if someone clicks on the link and goes to some website and buys something, you're gonna get paid. I like it because it's so simple. It really is, okay? Um, so what if there's a way to get business when you're not online, when you're offline? Um, and maybe not even spend a lot of money doing it. That sounds pretty cool, right? Uh, so I'll come up with a short list of some ideas which I want to look into myself, maybe you would too for your business, um, that can help you make more money and be creative and get outside the house and looking at the, dang, the computer screen a lot, which... I do a lot and I try to like go out and talk to people, which is healthy, right? Get some sunlight. So the first thing which you kind of need, um, which I'm a big believer in, is your own domain name. I'm a big, I, I like domain names because you own the space. Like Facebook, this is a true story. They could shut you down for anything or if you have like a fan page or whatever or any other portal that you have. When you have a domain name, you own it. You can put it whatever you want to do on it. Remember Alex Jones? Yeah, they don't like what he said. Got the X, baby. So that's not cool. So you want a domain name, okay? And what you really want, ideally, is something that, tap, that passes the radio test. And that means if you say it, you could just type the dang thing in and go to it. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a big believer in domain name. That's why I actually invest in them as well on the side, side, hot, side hustle project, whatever. So anyways, on your website with your domain name, you can promote your affiliate link and make money that way. You, you could put anything you want on there. Now, one idea that I think is really cool to think outside the box is if you have a car, you drive around your car and people look at your car, right? You, go, you see where I'm going? Yeah, you could get a, a bumper sticker with your website address and stick it on the back. Um, and then people, you can get some business that way, right? But think about it. This is true. Companies will actually pay you to wrap your car in their advertisements and they could generate business off that, which could be a good idea if you live in a city as a side hustle to make some extra cash. Not bad, right? But why not use some of that space to advertise your own website? Great idea. Why not? Look at NASCAR. <laughs> I think NASCAR has gone downhill now. Not as many people watch it as not as, but every little inch of that car, people pay for advertisements on, okay? I don't, know, I don't know where that came from. I was just thinking about NASCAR. Um, so why not? That's one idea that you can make some money offline for your affiliate marketing business, right? Now, a second idea, which I think is brilliant, which I'm definitely going to uh, look and do, um, is a t-shirt. You walk around you know, whatever, people look at your shirt like, this stupid shirt, why am I wearing this crap? Why do people pay money on t-shirts to advertise another brand and get them more business? Like Nike or Reebok or something. I'm just, I see Nike shirts all over the place. Um, but it's a side note, I actually read the book, Shoe Dog. It's really good, interesting about Phil Knight. But, well, I don't want to talk about that. So what I'm trying to say is uh, you can get a t-shirt made with your website address on it. People can look at it and you start a conversation. People And then you can generate more business that way, offline. Get you outside the house and talking to people. Get the sunlight. All right. So that's another idea. Um, the third I idea I have, which is what <laughs> nobody wants to do nowadays, is like talk to people face-to-face, -face, right? <laughs> like, oh, crap. I don't want to do that. So um, if you're in the make money online niche like I'm into, or maybe you're in the health niche, who knows? or the travel niche, then you can go to places where those kinds of people hang out or are interested in that. Maybe it's a job fair for me. Um, and the people are looking for work. You can pass up business cards, talk to people, talk to them what they're interested in, and who knows? It, it could definitely um, get you some business that way. And why not? It seems like a lot of fun. Uh, so, now, 
Those are three ideas. Another one, which has got to be the best way, is what's the number one fear of all people. What is that? Public speaking. I think it really is number one fear. And if you look at somebody, you know, one person I really admire is Gary Vee. He's definitely up there with the best, one of the best internet marketers. Is he gets a lot of business through public, uh, public speaking, right? And what he did was he actually started doing it for free. And then he started getting charged money for it. And then he, he kept demanding a higher price until he realized what the market would pay for him. So not only, not only does he make money from public speaking, but it helps him generate business. Now, obviously, you and I are not Gary Vee. We can't, you know, we're probably not going to be able to demand that kind of money. But you, if you can get a chance to do a public engagement, uh, public speaking, and if you like it, you can definitely be really good for your business. And plus, the best thing about it, though, is it really is uh, gives you a lot of credibility. You're on stage. You can take a picture of you on stage. You're like, look, I'm a badass. I'm on stage. So that's a great idea, okay, to, um, if you want to do that. And the last idea, which I want to talk about, which I have to, is print advertisements. And that means like business cards. Uh, you can be creative. You can go to like your public library and stick business cards and books that are, that are on your topic, generate some business that way. Uh, you can create flyers and pass them out. Well, don't pass them out, but you can post them on places like that are in your niche, like, I don't know, like places where look, people look for jobs or health clinics if you're in the health niche. You see where I'm going, basically. So there's a few ideas. Um, but the good news about all this stuff is it helps you get out of the house and mixes things up. Because even in uh, with affiliate marketing or what I do, I, I like to mix things up, okay? I like to do different things. Um, I think it's kind of fun, makes some extra money. So there you go. So I hope uh, I hope you really enjoyed this whole uh, this video or our podcast on offline, well, a list of offline marketing activities for your affiliate business. Um, if you did like it, then or if you learned something, please hit the thumbs up button. I would appreciate that. Um, if you have an idea what you want to mention, leave a comment below. I would appreciate that as well. And lastly, if you are interested in uh, making money online with affiliate marketing, I've been doing it for an insanely long time. Um, you can go ahead and check out my website or click the link below at trustthelink.com and you'll discover what I feel is the number one tip to making money with affiliate marketing. Okay, So I wish you the best. Okay, um, Have a great rest of your day. Uh, take care and bye.